The state that fired the first shot in the Civil War may be the last to retire the colors. The Confederate battle flag at the state capitol has long been the third rail of South Carolina politics. Even after the massacre at an African-American church last week, the flag remained at full staff while all others were lowered. State law forbids anyone touching the banner. That left many people seeing red. And late today, after 150 years of history, politicians could see which way the wind is blowing now. Adriana Diaz begins our coverage. It's time to move the flag from the Capitol grounds. Amid tears and applause, South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley did today what many have wanted for years. This is a moment in which we can say that that flag, while an integral part of our past, does not represent the future of our great state. Republican Tim Scott, one of only two African-American senators, stood next to her, as did U.S. Senator and presidential candidate Lindsey Graham. As recently as Friday, Graham defended the state's right to fly the flag. But this is part of who we are. But today, Graham agreed the flag has to go. Now, after the shooting, there's just no way to keep the flag. I think it's a roadblock to our future. Put it in a museum, move forward. The Confederate flag began flying on the Capitol Dome in 1961, in the middle of the Civil Rights Movement. In 2000, it was moved to the Confederate War Memorial on Capitol grounds, and is the only flag that cannot be lowered without a legislative vote. So after the shooting, when the other flags at the State House were lowered, the Confederate flag flew high. Bring it down! Bring it down! Since the church murders, the outcry against the flag has grown. Reverend Nelson Rivers. If you call that a mock party of heritage, then you have a heritage of hate because the flag represents hate, hate of other, especially me as the other. Today, though, is just the beginning. Removing the flag is not up to the governor. A two thirds vote of the legislature is required. It's time. It's time to do my job. State Representative Doug Brannon, a Republican, says he hasn't had the courage to submit a bill against the flag until now. The switch that flipped was the death of my friend, Senator Pinckney. I've been in the House five years. I should have filed that bill five years ago. But the time is now. Those who support the flag, like Paul Graham of the Sons of Confederate Veterans, say the flag is being unfairly targeted. If I thought that this would change anything at all, I would personally be the first one to want to take it down. But it will not change anything. What it will do is it will embarrass and shame people who had nothing to do with this event. Nothing. South Carolina's extended legislative session ends this week. Scott, the governor, said that if lawmakers don't act in time, she'll use her authority to bring them back into session to ensure a vote. Adriana Diaz at the Capitol for us tonight. Thank you, Adriana. Turns out the Confederate battle flag is an option on the license plates of nine states. Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana, Maryland, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia offer Sons of Confederate Veterans plates. That's a historical society which says that it condemns race bias. The only state flag left with the Confederate battle emblem is Mississippi. In 2001, 64% of the voters there turned down a redesign. 